Hello everyone, it's Brigitta back with another pick a card reading guys. I hope you are all doing well. I will be putting out more videos for you guys. Hopefully, um, fingers crossed I'll have good Wi-Fi when I'll be in Antalya because I'd really like to do some live streaming and you know just like connect with you guys. Now today I have asked you which pick a card you want to see next. And I'm going to combine a couple of people, a uh, couple of people's requests into one. So April has asked, um, what past life gifts am I unaware of, which are most important to bring into being now? We're going to touch on that. I'm not sure how I'm going to name this picker card just yet. And then the other one was, uh, Anna Greg has asked, which... Uh, life lessons we should have learned so I'm going to do a really I'm gonna dig deep in this one okay so I'm not sure how long it's going to last I think we're going to answer a lot of questions here and you might understand why you are like you are I'm going to probably be pulling decks um, as we go and let's see what happens okay so whoever has picked from thumbnail go ahead and choose your pile if you have changed your mind once you've seen these files pick another one or watch both but anyways I'm going to include the thumbnail in a second here it is hi guys pile number one so let's get into this I have pulled a lot of cards on the side too, so I'll show them as I speak. Now, let's start with the the first row is going to be talking about what you have learned or how you have been in your past life, okay? And now here we're going to be looking at what you have to concentrate on and whatever whatever other messages will come through. Okay? So let me just volume a little bit down the music and we will get into this. Right. What you have learned in your past life is very interesting, guys, because um, in your past life, it seems like there was a moment when you were in this stagnant energy, okay? And this has kind of kept you... I wouldn't say it's a negative thing. I would say that this has made you realize where it is that you want to go next okay it seems like in the past life you have traveled um overseas uh i'm getting so many messages bear with me and also there is a situation okay it's making sense now right um in your past life you might have let someone go and this partnership was really difficult for you to let go of. And you were trying to understand why this person has left. It's it's literally like seeing someone leaving, okay? And that, you see those two circles over here as well? It's like I'm letting my connection go. And that was the main thing for you in the past life. You have learned how to kind of detach from this person. It was a difficult period of time for you guys because you had to put yourself in the hangman stage, state. And you also had to kind of chill and give yourself that resting period after this person has left. Bear with me when I'm silent. I'm going to be um, getting extra messages. And if you can see again, you have do those two circles of light here. You have been thinking about, you know, whatever has happened with this distance. So there is a lot of longing in your past life. And this is something that you would have to learn in this current lifetime too, guys. Um, now, I feel like there is something else I want to say regarding your past life. I'm going to pull more cards here because there is something else that has to be said. I mean, 
that's what happens okay so you had to let your other half go in your past life and this might be something that is influencing your life right now so what you have to work on is partnerships but really um what this is telling me you have to understand how to let go and detach in a way and how to find this other half in a way where you are doing something by yourself as individual and you're not waiting for someone to come in your life okay because otherwise you will put yourself in the stagnant energy where you are not able to have this quality fulfilled life it's really difficult to do because that's what you bring in from the past and you might feel very lonely sometimes okay but that's something that you will have to learn in this life in this lifetime though what you have to concentrate on i do see you here in these all piles on your own so that is what you're learning in this lifetime. You have to learn how to create this really nice and cozy home environment for your own self, okay? Yes, you are preparing this table uh, for some sort of gathering, but usually how we see this, if we do not have any uh, masculine involved in this um, or cards indicating partnerships, it's saying you have to learn how to be happy and how to create this celebration and happiness for your own self. Another thing for a lot of you guys, what I'm seeing is you have to balance this home environment together with your business. So you have to concentrate on how do I feel like I'm not alone. I understand that I'm not alone. I'm loved in this lifetime but also how to be, um, how to release myself from longing and to keep on going and to create something that I wanna do. And by that, I mean how to find this career or something that you are interested in and how to make it work where it starts bringing you money. And whatever it is, guys, for most of you, it's going to be something creative. And creative, you know, that's a really broad term, right? Creative can be, literally even someone who cleans the streets um you can do it in a creative manner can't you you can have your own technique uh where you start and where you finish it's something that you have to create in your workplace that gives you that peace for the soul okay and that creativity will kind of put you um i'm looking forward here This creativity will put you to a different light for other people. I mean, I'm getting so such an intense message. Your partner in this lifetime will find you through this creativity. Okay, because what I'm seeing here, um, I have pull cards on the side too here and you have another Queen of Pentacles, but from another deck. And look, she's very creative, isn't she? She's literally minding her own business. Uh, she's very in peace with herself. She's very, she seems in such a serene and tranquil state that you wouldn't even want to bother her. That's something that you should concentrate in this lifetime. But very much, how do I make my home environment peaceful and cozy? And also how do implement my creativity into the job that i'm in the job that i'm working at um a lot of green colors coming through here so green for some of you might uh, mean something for most i'm seeing that you need to get out in nature a little bit more okay and ripen those grapes over there because here it seems like she i mean look at these two it seems like it's the same woman doesn't it in a way where one day she's painting the other day she's creating something else the other day she is writing something down so in this lifetime you really need to concentrate how not to be just resting and not doing as much as you would like to do but to put those ideas to work and why i'm seeing ideas because on the side i have ace of swords so you have to 
speak your mind and speak your ideas through creativity as much as in this lifetime you have to bring justice but not in that bad way you know for people you have to be someone who speaks up and speaks your mind because you do not know how many people you're going to inspire now another thing what i'm seeing here guys who's not vibing with a creative uh, side to it is whatever you have been working on and whatever you have been researching in this life that is of an interest for you let's say for example for me it would be books that i read mindful books um books about how we can change our mindset through our power of thought or um, documentaries everything that you have ever taken interest in you have to talk about it to people because you're going to bring a lot of clarity for others around you some of them might not actually acknowledge that but the moment they will go home they'll be like okay what well, that actually made sense i can implement this information in my own life and this person is very interesting that way the way they go around their life now other thing that has to be worked on in this lifetime guys for you is decisions decisions and actually seeing situation clearly seeing the situation how it actually is and that is tying into your partnerships romantic partnerships okay now what i'm seeing some of you might have gone through situations where you were very interested in one person and that didn't come out to be the way you wanted to, it to happen or that person wasn't the person you thought them to be so you had some kind of idea about them how they are but once once everything uh came to surface you realize that that person is actually not a good suit for you okay so a lot in this pile what i'm seeing is to do with you guys actually working on your craft working on your really good home environment some of you might have someone toxic in your home environment and cards are saying maybe it's time to move okay if you ever wanted to go and live somewhere else even you know the next street around the corner somewhere if you're being pulled to that direction go ahead and make that step because i, I really feel like for a lot of you guys you might have some something in your home that is bothering you or around your house the area maybe that is not giving you that peace that you need in order to create something that you that you need to create okay regarding partnerships be careful of in this lifetime and see people as they are okay that's why you have justice here see believe in things that they do but do not believe whatever they say to you or I don't know why for some of you that's coming through you might watch pick a card readings and some of them might tell you a story you know sometimes uh, we um, I usually pick tarot um, card readings where they actually speak the truth in a way where um, it's uh, no bullshit type you know if uh, readers say sees that something is off they're gonna tell you they're not gonna try to sugarcoat it so try to pick that kind of readings as well where uh, especially regarding romantic partnerships or in general um, partnerships in your life try to um, get that veil this is illusions right try to get the illusions veiled down and understand which person is the way they are and maybe sometimes they are not the best person to be around okay and again number six number six for a lot of you i'm seeing um i'm saying for me personally was to do with a situation where i had to change my living uh, environment okay i had to move somewhere else and for some of you that's the case let me see if anything else is coming through here i've pulled the uh, one intuitive card here and what i'm seeing again this is the card of seeing saying see things clearly there are secrets that you have to actually they are not very hidden from you okay if you actually looked at it you would understand how things are as they are so some of you guys here pile number one are really really nice people and that might that is usually your advantage but when it comes to partnerships would it be romantic or not that might 
kind of trip you over where you might give too much or you might not uh, understand how this person really is so even if they say that let's say they say the best and most beautiful words to you watch what they do rather what they say okay let me see if anything else is coming through here for some of you guys in this lifetime you have to concentrate on does any do any of you have any stomach problems or maybe a uh, high blood pressure that's something that you have to concentrate on and eat healthier and um, have your diet on point guys okay and know your triggers whatever triggers your um, health know what it is and just try to live of course it's very difficult right to be on diet guys but try to um, get rid of those let's say ingredients or certain foods that are not working for you um, cut cut out as much as you can I see some of you might be feeling um, or very down or the opposite. It's going to be two, um, two scenarios. One part of you is like black and white. There is no gray I'm talking about here. Or you feel very good and alive autumn time or you feeling very excited autumn time. A lot of you might feel um, a little bit depressed autumn time and that is why because in your past life, the person who has left you and who had to go away um, actually left around the autumn time. Or if you do not have, let's say, if you live somewhere where it's always warm, um, the season is going to be when everything is kind of dying out a bit or when it's not, the sun is not as intense, okay? That's that kind of period where you might feel a little bit stuck and stagnant, you know, when you're like, oh my God, I do not like the season that season you do not like is because of that situation okay someone has left in your past life and it reminds you of that time okay and can you see i just looked at it how these two cards vibe together you have three ones over here and you have four ones over here three ones is talking about you know four sorry four ones is um stability okay you have four legs of a table Three is saying one leg is missing, one leg is gone. So in this life, you are, need to concentrate on how to build that stability for yourself. Would it be financial? Would it be your um, happy home environment? It's coming through constantly here. Be around people who give you that one leg missing. Be around people who are positive and who encourage your craft. Some people sometimes do not understand even what I do, you know, and I tend not to talk to those people. Usually I try not to share what I do uh, regarding the spiritual work, you know, with everyone because whoever needs me in their life, they will find me. So maybe something that you are interested in is something that not many people are or something that you, the way you see life, maybe not many people around you see the life the same way. And it's okay. Once you are going to concentrate on your own craft, you will see your tribe coming in. Okay. Let me see what else here. The autumn is coming through quite a bit here. You might feel this difference of, you know, how you feel. And um, do not feel bad that, my God, what's wrong with me around autumn time? understand that for some of you guys this is something that you bring in from the past life and autumn time usually you have a lot of colors in nature you know trees have a lot of colors in, in leaves and try to embrace it in this lifetime try to see the positive in autumn because in autumn time we lose and the trees are losing their leaves right the trees are ready for a new beginning And I just heard how nice is it to let go and start fresh. So maybe some of you are going through something like this right now or you will be in the near future. For some of you guys, you might find answers in mountains. So you might want to visit mountains or you might be drawn to skiing or um, skating or snowboarding. Anything to do with any kind of activity that is to do with winter time. 
And I don't know why this is coming through, but for some of you, if you're really down or you're really lost in your life, um, tilt your head up and see which direction uh, the birds are flying. So before tilting your head up, tell yourself, um, let's say, I'm not sure which if I should take this job or I shouldn't take this job. So let's say if birds or if birds will turn to the right, that's going to be a yes. If they are going to go to left, it's going to be a no. And ask for answers in nature because you guys are very connected to nature. If you are feeling down, your answers are in nature. It means that you're not spending enough time outside of the house. Did any of you, there's gonna be a small amount, um, spill a drink or knock something over, uh, maybe a plate, you know, something to do with dishes over here. Um, that time was like your message that you're doing something wrong. Were you too stressed? Were you too anxious? Um, were you not in a grounded vibrational state? The universe was trying to teach you, hey, calm down, ground yourself. Because in this lifetime, you have two queen of pens. You really have to ground yourself, guys. Because that's what you have been doing in the past life. You put yourself on hold, you are resting, you know, you try to do that. And in this lifetime, that's something that you have to embrace even more. And you will be successful. That's really nice cards that I'm seeing in front of me. Also, if you're feeling down or depressed sometimes and you feel like nothing is uplifting you and you know you have those stagnant moments um turn to creativity whatever it would be even take out a notepad and write write things down and just on a paper why i'm feeling this way you know i'm feeling this and that and that and it's out of nowhere and seek for those answers because you pile number one is someone who might be misunderstood sometimes by other people only because you think much deeper and I do not know why. Some of you know already that I went to Jacob's Lee concert. It was fucking amazing. I'm sorry with my language. <laughs> this just came out. Um, and why I'm talking about him? Because um, he's going to be someone who is going to be big, you know, one day. Only because of text that, that he writes. His lyrics speaks to your soul. So if you would like to listen to him go ahead because I feel like some of you will vibe with what he has to say and he might inspire you in one way or another. Maybe some of you are supposed to be on this earth to write as well. Some of you might want to paint, some of you want to do something with your hands, you know. It's a very, it's a lot of crafty energy that's coming through here. And I see that in your past life, Instead of going within yourself and expressing what you're feeling, everything that you have been uh, longing for, you know, you've been seeking for more in your life, you didn't have much of that stability emotionally, you didn't turn to your craft. And in this life, that's something that you'll have to concentrate on. So I hope this resonated, guys. Please like and subscribe if you're new. If you are my tribe, I'm going to be looking forward to your comments. It's so nice that you always come back and give me feedback and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey, pile number two, welcome to your reading. So let's get into this. This first um, row or column, row, yes. Excuse me, it's been a long day. <laughs> so the first a set of cards, it's going to be talking about your past life. I have pulled more cards on the side, but I'll show you them as I go. We don't have enough space here. Now, these ones are going to be talking about what it is that you have to concentrate in this life lifetime and what's working for you and any extra messages that will be coming through. Now, you guys, in the past life, what I'm seeing... <laughs> such an interesting storyline you were a leader and you were a leader someone who you know the one who got away 
but it has to do with um, your, as I say, tribe. So the people you are close with, that's your family and your friend circle. You are someone who were teaching others how to go about how to go about life. You are someone who was bringing money into family. You are someone people were listening to. And you are the leader, leader of your own tribe, okay? Now, what's interesting is in your current lifetime, you might be... Um, because you have already already learned that how to be a leader and how to have this money, you know, and how you are managing everything. It seems like in your past life, you got kind of bored of people depending on you. And in this lifetime, you are starting over regarding your finances. So for some of you, if you feel like work is not something that is going great or you have problems regarding your money or finances, that is something that you you are being taught okay it seems like in the in the past life you might have had more than you wanted and it's something happened where you literally decided to leave everything behind and money wasn't making you that happy in the past life therefore in this life you are given less money or less success in your career as of this very moment okay because we have the work occupation and this was answering my question what what something that is not working for you currently okay so you might feel like everything is happening a bit slow with work why that is happening is because you have to concentrate on something else and we will get into it in a minute i want to dig in a bit more into your past life here another thing that happened in your past life you were cheated on by your sweetheart okay i have clarified the seven of swords i was like okay who is the trickster here and that's what we have and you know well that these two cards i couldn't read any differently but your lover has cheated on you okay and you had a family together and you were very happy until death um, separates us but what happened was you know someone has kind of uh, taken advantage of the situation and didn't treat you well okay now you might find yourself in this lifetime being being someone who is a little bit closed off or too intense when it comes to the other sex and I've pulled what's not working in this lifetime these cards are singing together and it says older man man watching is going to be older woman for you okay that's what not that's what's not working for you partnership might be something that's not working for you but because it's very different from pile number one is because you know now and you have still in your energy field that hurt therefore you become this master of your own life you do not need a man I'm, in, I'm independent you know i do not want someone else to you know tell me how to do this tell me how to do that you are standing in your own power be careful guys in this lifetime that you do not shut good people off because you might come off as a little bit too much where you are not allowing other people to get to your heart with this armor okay and this is something that you might be doing um without realizing you have this past hurt and you're like i don't know why i'm so bossy in relationships i don't know why everything has to be the, done the way i want things to be done sometimes um I do not know why I'm being too harsh. Maybe my words are a little bit too intense. Maybe you become angry about little mistakes that this person does because it's triggering what has happened in your past life. In your past life, you were... At one point, when you were... You had your own circle and you were very successful, 
you got depressed because you realized that money didn't make it for you, okay? And you had to walk away to retreat from everyone else. And I have asked what you have walked away from apart from these people that you have left behind. And you have managed how to deal with your depression or anxieties in your past life. So I feel like, guys, in this pile, it's very interesting. It seems like you are able to get out of depression and you understand why you're feeling depressed in this life where in the past life uh, you didn't realize at first why, why you were feeling a certain way. In this lifetime, you are someone who is a little bit more advanced in understanding your emotions, meaning why you're feeling down, why you're feeling anxious, why you're feeling depressed sometimes. You're like, okay, you know, another day, another mood. You understand how life works. It's not always up. Sometimes you have to go down that hill. And this is something that is naturally in you that you carry from the past life. You might even, that was a message that popped straight in my head, might even encounter people around you who are in need of your help, who are struggling or were struggling in the past with depression or anxiety or even suicidal thoughts. So do not be afraid or surprised when people like that are suddenly thrown in your life. I feel like for a lot of you, you have already encountered that before because you are someone who's able to understand both sides. This coin is talking about how you're managing this depression or anxiety in this, in this life. This coin is um, representing how you managed it in the past life, you know, up and down. So that's something that you are doing pretty well in. If that's something that's not resonating as of right now, you will soon be able to realize that because we learn as we go through life, right? So some of you might not be just there yet, but you will. It seems like you guys are very in tune with your um, intuition, pile number two. Um, you are someone who's not only aware of what it is that you wanna do next, your intuition sometimes might not make, make sense to you, but do not question it in this lifetime. You might be drawn to go somewhere, to go a place and you don't know why. You might have this feeling of not belonging. And it is because you have to, you were a traveler a little bit in your past life too. And that's something that is left in your subconscious where you know that you would want to go somewhere. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. I have a nice house. I have everything that I need, roof above my head. I don't know why I'm being drawn there. And that's something that you will have to explore in this lifetime because I've pulled, I've clarified these cards and I have six of swords. And this is all about moving, you know, Literally, I see this guy that's packing your bags and, and leaving somewhere. And that vibes very much with this two of wands where you're like, I want to go somewhere. I'm not sure why. And I don't know where, where I'm going. Now, funny thing. I have two eight of cups from different decks. One as I spoke about it here. And one we have from the texture tarot deck. Which is funny that in this life, guys, you might be feeling that you are able to detach from people quite easily or easier than people who are around you. So those people who are probably um, are not able to come out of a relationship, um, who are not able to cope with breakups, that's what, I'm, what I try to say, who are not able to cope with breakups and they are crying for half years straight, you are probably someone, guys, who is not able to understand that fully because you are someone who is standing in your power and you're like, I am my own happiness. I know what I'm doing. I don't need anyone to give me that because you have learned how to detach yourself in the past life from people that you loved, okay? And you just literally went um, and explored, you know, mountains. You explored nature, I feel like. You went on your own. I'm feeling hermit vibe over here. So if you feel like you want to explore in this lifetime, that's what you bring in from the past lifetime. Go and explore because Six of Swords, when that pops out, it tells me that you need to go to a certain place or to go on vacation. But vacation is not the thing. 
um, I'm talking more about uh, going to a place to explore. And vacation sometimes it can be, um, it can give you those insights. But make sure that once you go on holiday, you're not staying in a hotel. Make sure that you are exploring the surroundings as much as you can. Rent a car, uh, maybe meet different people because you in this lifetime have to be an explorer. You were a leader and now this leader has to go out and spread the knowledge that he has in this lifetime. And that is why you're not probably giving a lot of you the career that you think you need. Because we people can want something, but it doesn't mean that we need that, right? Because if you gotten, let's say, if you became the boss of a company or you own your own company, it requires a lot of work. Therefore, you wouldn't be able physically to explore the world. Now, it doesn't make sense for some of you, right, that you need to have money for holiday in order to do so. Believe me, you can find so many more interesting holidays or how to plan trips without um, having thousands of pounds or dollars. Okay, I found myself um, that when I have less money, I become more creative and I find more interesting travel destinations. So that's probably a message for a couple of you who have been thinking how to do it because you guys have this travel and explorer type of vibe here that I'm seeing. And do not feel bad that you don't have as much money as you'd want to or you do not stand, let's say, in a regarding your work, you don't have the position that you would want to. Right now, it's not in your vibration. Right now, that's not something that you have to concentrate on. Right now, you have to explore. Listen to your intuition, which path it's guiding you to go because you're standing outside your house thinking, yeah, it's good here, but why do I want to go somewhere else? Another thing that's um, working for you guys in this lifetime, what you have to concentrate on, concentrate on the logical side of your brain too and embrace the change. You are someone who's already doing it quite well, detaching from situations and people, okay, not being stagnant. If some of you haven't started doing that yet or you are not in that vibration just yet where you can welcome change with your open arms, that's something, that's the message for you, embrace the change, number five, okay? Let me see if anything else is coming through here. In this lifetime, you guys might be interested in um, details, paying attention to details. And I'm talking regarding your work. Uh, you might be very analytical. You might be um, analyzing things. You might be someone who needs the logical side of your brain in order to do the work that you are doing right now. And for most of you guys in this lifetime, you have to heal. Kind of lick your wounds from the past life and understand why you might be feeling the way you are feeling sometimes towards the opposite sex. You have been hurt before, but do not put it, put that hurt on people who do not deserve it because you might miss your chance with someone who is very genuine. And I know it's difficult to do so, but try to let your guards down and try to welcome this person with open hands, the way you do with change and the way you do how you cope with, you know, detaching from people and walking away from things. If some of you haven't started walking away from things, that's your indication and that's your message saying there is something in your life right now that has to be left. Would it be a person? Would it be home? Would it be country or a city? You know what I'm talking about for you guys here. I don't know why construction came to mind. It's a lot to do. This pile is vibing with... Um, Career-wise, architecture, anything, engineering, construction, uh, court. Um, I'm not feeling the... 
Okay, the analytical side of your brain can be also used when you write, when you speak, right? Because you have to plan things out how you want to portray your idea. So do not take these um, careers that I have mentioned as set. Um, understand that analytical side of a brain can be used in many things. The strongest message here, guys, is do not feel bad for not having as much as you want money-wise because in this lifetime, you are given more time and less money for a reason. And probably a lot of you understand that money is not your happiness. And I don't know why Jim Carrey popped in my mind. So maybe watch Jim Carrey's speeches about how money is nothing. And how success is not something that's going to fulfill your uh, emotional needs. It's going to fulfill your soul. Um, I think there is something in his speeches, not necessarily about money and success, that you have to hear pile number two. So if you'll type Jim Carrey's speech, literally click on the first one that you've paid attention to because there is going to be something that you will have to hear from that one. I keep getting long in here. So if you guys feeling like you don't belong in the place, it means that you have to explore. And I just heard free as a bird. You have to be free in this lifetime. And try, try as much as you can not to be... Uh, bitchy or cocky or <laughs> or too bossy uh, towards the opposite sex and understand why this is happening why you feel in a certain way for some of you maybe even in this lifetime you have experienced something like that you know and that ha has triggered you double so try to give chances to people and listen to listen to when they talk but you know the way you have to listen let's say if you if you went on the first date and um, this guy is eating or this girl is eating not the way that you would want them to eat or it annoys you in one way or another uh, try to kind of uh, say okay I'm probably doing something that's annoying for someone else and it's okay I'm gonna take this person you know how they are I'm going to try not to let those triggers of mine um, influence this relationship because really that's a little thing I'm giving you just an example it doesn't mean that that's the only thing you know I'm giving you a silly example of how things might be triggering you regarding this other sex okay so guys whoever is new I would love to see you in my tribe my tribe is dope <laughs> and subscribe and I'll speak to all of you soon thanks guys whoever is coming back I love you very much bye for now hi people who've chosen pile number three so I've pulled a lot of cards on the side but there's no not enough space so I'll show you as I speak now first ones are talking about your past life these ones we are going to be talking about your current lifetime okay so funny fact we have two magicians from two different decks and it's tying in from <laughs> with your past life and with your current lifetime let me start with mm -hmm. let me i don't even know how to put it for you guys net pile number three this is the most interesting storyline out of all three and I have no idea where this is coming through but for some of you it's going to be vibing. Now, <laughs> I've asked what in the past life you were a magician of, right? The magician is someone who is very good at something and magician, magician is usually good at a lot of different things but I wanted to know what were you the best at and what we have here is in the past life you were really good at love and that's not 
that's not something that's coming through as you know you were in amazing relationship not only what's coming through here is you were a really good natural matchmaker for people i don't even know that that's an actual thing like in the past life right now we have them but unconsciously in your past life you were really good kind of getting people together and those people would stay together for a really really long time that is something of your power guys okay so maybe it's something that you have naturally in this lifetime because you have brought a lot of things from the past life guys pile number three is saying that you guys are on the right track you are bringing the good things from the past life and i'm not seeing as much of trauma as in couple of as in pile number one and pile number two you know there were some issues there here guys what i'm seeing someone who was really good in their own relationship um someone who was even better getting people together and the funny fact is that in your past life you have packed your bags and you went and i was like okay tell me what it is that you have kind of left aside and you have decided to move away from and you know what popped out there's gonna be two storylines here king of wands and page of cups so you have walked away from your love interest guys in your past life not because that's that's something that didn't work out because you decided to go and search for something else that you needed guys and for some of you it's going to be connected with your work there's something that you wanted to spread the word about in your past life where you were like i love you i'm sorry but i have to go universe needs me needs me somewhere else and i do i mean come on page of cups i really love you and um, I do not feel like this relationship split up in, you know, nice, well, finished in a nasty way. You still love each other dearly, but there was a mutual understanding of one person has to move somewhere. I think you guys have met after some time because I do not see a separation. It was a temporary separation, okay? There was something that you had to do with a magician world needed you needed your tools needed your knowledge and experience in order for you to spread the word you had to move away for some time okay now funny fact these two are vibing in this lifetime what you have to do also is to speak your truth and this is going to come through um things that you've learned your experiences everything that you have in your baggage everything that you that you have learned from and you have realized the world needs to hear that you see in the past life you had an initial idea of i'm being needed to spread the word here you're already a queen and you're spreading the word quite well and magician sits next to it saying you are doing very well at whatever it is that you're doing okay and that's what you have to concentrate on this lifetime now funny fact also in this lifetime what you have to concentrate on and i feel like a lot of you guys are doing that already is go soul searching retreat if you need to be alone do so because you are someone who is a little bit of a monk type i mean that's a weird thing to say right you have to retreat from other people and from external distractions in order to gather yourself to find the truths what really matters in the world and come back and tell it to people you are probably someone guys who's going to be visible one day in one way or another for others okay would you do meetings would you um, organize get togethers would you have your youtube channel would you spread the word through writing your music whatever it is your word has to be spread in this lifetime guys 
And that is why maybe for some of you, relationship is not working very well because the moment you have left in your past life, I do not see a connection here at all as of this very moment when I speak, okay? So whenever you're watching this video, even if you are not single, your main mission here is to keep your... What's the word I'm looking for? Someone help me out. To keep your individuality and to have this time on your own. So in this lifetime, you have to search for someone who has an understanding of why you are like you are, who doesn't get offended that you need to go by yourself sometimes, doesn't get offended that you don't talk too much, doesn't get offended when you disappear for some time because that's something that has to be explored. And the world needs you, pile number three. I mean, I love, love, love this vibe. And I usually do not get very excited in my readings unless it's something that it actually is crazy, you know? So <laughs> pile number three, congratulations. Let me know if uh, you are already spreading your word. If you, you probably are naturally someone um, who is good at doing different jobs. So you might have done different jobs, like let's say you might have been a cleaner, a waitress, then worked in corporation somewhere, then uh, jumped into um, nine to five and then done something creative. You know, I see a mixture of abilities here and that's something that has to be explored in this lifetime. Also, whoever is still, um, noticing that you are a good matchmaker in this lifetime, that's something you should keep keep up, you know, because you will be uh, someone who does bring people together. And it might come, it might happen unintentionally sometimes, you know, when you're just like, oh, I think you should meet um, him or you should meet her and then bang, these people get along very, very well. It's not necessarily that it's romantic, but you're bringing people together of the same soul vibration, okay? What might not be working out in this lifetime, guys? You might be feeling like you're working and working and working. And it's like, oh my God, this is a never ending story. You are hard workers, guys. Make sure that you are resting enough, okay? Because if you're not resting enough, you're gonna get yourself in a state where you start doubting whatever it is that you're doing. Because working that hard that you have scars all over your body, okay, doesn't bring you good mindset after all. Make sure you give yourself time to rest, otherwise you might be um, ill or otherwise your I feel like your mental state might be a little bit um, affected by how hard you work sometimes. It seems like pile number three, you are people who want to do so many things in life and you feel like sometimes you're running out of time and that's okay. You're bringing that from your past life. You were someone who had to do a lot, you know, and in this lifetime, you're doing the same, but in this lifetime, you have to embrace it even more where people see your truth, people hear your truth, people look at you, people take example, okay? Literally, some of you might want to be, you know, an acting career. Um, you have theater here, you know, whatever it is that brings people this connection to you and they see your craft, they see what you're doing and how this is changing the world. Okay, give me a second. What's not working in this lifetime too or you have to concentrate on, sometimes you might not be able to do one thing at a time. You might start doing one thing and then you start doing something else. Obviously, because, you know, if you have so many tools at hand, sometimes you don't know which one to use and don't know if you should concentrate on money, if you should concentrate on your passions, on your love life or on your ideas. You know, it's very difficult for you sometimes and that's okay. You just need to realize uh, how you have to manage your time. And especially with this card, work um, wiser, do not work harder. Okay, so have a plan for yourself because it might get you to that state where you're like, you know what, I can't physically anymore. I have all of this willpower, but sometimes it's 
this is too much even for me someone who's constantly like looking for new things to do who pile number three i feel your energy here now in this lifetime even though you might be feeling like you're working, 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 and sometimes it's like it's a never ending story, you will get there because your work occupation, I'm seeing that something that's going to bring you luck. It comes up to number seven. Your work and occupation is something that you might be working towards a bit longer than other people, but once you get there, you're going to be master of your craft. And do not get surprised if this career, whatever it is, is going to be a little bit different from this, you know, normal career, as I say. Embrace your uniqueness with the hermit here, okay? You are someone, I mean, this hermit always, I talked about Jacob Lee in another pile somewhere. So if you were interested in, you were looking at the other pile, check it out because this reminds me of um, his video oh my god check out his writing skills so maybe some of you because you have to talk so much you would benefit from the way he writes because the way he puts words is magic um which video is that i think it's conscious or zen actually i'm going to interrupt this because that's something that you need to see guys and this this came to me not randomly Oop, sorry if i won't knock the whole place down okay bear with me bear with me i'm gonna keep it rolling because i want you to see the, the... yep okay it's then if you write ad sorry the ads are there okay so watch this and i'm gonna try to find The exact same. Moment in his video. So might be that there is something in that song that you might want to hear or you need to hear. Okay, let me just zoom into this. Sorry about the noise, but I never usually am like this in my readings where I start showing random things to people on my screen, but hey ho. Watch that. And that's him also thinking about how he's looking for his own light, you know. It's about, um, the lyrics are amazing. How he needs to put himself in a state of Zen in order to understand what it is that he wants to do. The lyrics are really deep, guys. So check it out if, I, if you are interested because... I felt really drawn to showing you this. Right. Let's get to business here. Let me see what else is coming through here. Some of you guys might want to go on random trips. Um, might like long rides. So you want to go and jump in a car and just drive and drive maybe sometimes without destination. And that's tying in together with the hermit, you know. Um, this experience gives you um, gives your soul fulfillment. Even though it's not something that... I'm not talking about a situation where you hop off the car and you start looking around, you know, and um, kind of experiencing things. It's just that ride that gives you that, um, uplifts your soul in a way, okay? Because I really see you guys that you and the way toward somewhere is very important in this lifetime. So you have to keep searching. That's number eight, by the way. Number eight for me is always... It comes to, um, um, well, that's how I see it. There are so many more meanings to it. But I always say your soul mission and your career coming together. So whatever your soul came to this lifetime to do, that's what you have to search for. Does it make sense? You are also someone, guys, who have to bring, you might be this karmic person for some people. Why I'm saying that is because you might sometimes bring the deepest and darkest. Um, hmm, why am I looking for which word? 
you might unconsciously bring darker sides of the people out in the surface and therefore they might feel very angry or they might react to your uh, things that you have to say in a very weird way do not take it personally because you are someone who is here to kind of shake shake their foundations in order for them to understand from everything that's happening around them from a higher perspective so just put your words out there and do not take it personally say it and detach okay because you are someone who's going through life with that sword um high up in order to bring clarity to people and clarity you know it's really difficult for people sometimes to accept different truths you know um change their beliefs because first off they tend to get angry or they tend to get defensive um, and defend their opinions and it's okay all you have to do is to put it out there and do not get into um do not get into this deep discussions because none of you is going to be winning okay in that situation you might end up actually hurting each other guys where you didn't mean to really you are there to shake someone's foundations and walk your own way okay let me see what else here you are probably also someone and that's that's what's working and what you have to concentrate on if that's something you're not doing just yet that's your message do so you have to be someone who is showing others the way and by little things if someone calls you let's say which dress should i buy you know black or white you are there to kind of advise people in the way you are there to show them which choice to 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 make and especially when it comes to life decisions um should i do this or should i do that you know love life especially you might see friends and family members you know coming to you for advice you are in their life for a reason you are someone who has their shit together guys pile number three in one way or another even if you don't see that other people see it, see you that way okay you are someone try not to get too uh, defensive in this life if you are saying something to someone who has a completely different opinion about certain aspect in, in life um try not to get defensive about your opinion because then you it will seem that you are not the right one um go about the situation in a calm and logical manner do not get in emotions involved otherwise if you will stand your ground with seven of wands, you might, you both might end up being like this, okay? So as I said before, you are, you are there just to shake the ground and leave, all right? Words are spoken, then sayonara. There is so much to pile number three. I could talk for two hours how many things um, you have to concentrate on and what's working and what's not working. There is not many things that's not working for pile number three. The only thing that I'm seeing here, sometimes you might be childish in situations where you, you should be serious, okay? <laughs> but I see that everything is working out pretty well for you guys anyways, okay? You might be that person who cracks a joke in a in the wrong at the wrong time. But I mean that's nothing serious. I do not see anything that you are doing apart from pushing yourself, I would say, you know, too much. Do not push your body so much, do not work so much where you're not giving yourself rest. As I said before, because you might end up, you know, having the doubts and those doubts are going to come out of nowhere only because your mind is tired, you know, your mind is overthinking, your mind needs rest. So go out there, explore your soul and go to the nature. Green color is coming out here in these two cards, okay? Spend time in nature whenever you start feeling like you're doubting yourself or you are not sure or you are literally just overworked. So that's going to heal you, all right? So let me know, pile number three, amazing. My tribe is dope. This is great. Uh, whoever is new, subscribe. Uh, if you would like to, like or dislike the video. And I'll catch you soon. Bye all.